Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How you doing tonight? How you doing today? I'm great. I'm doing fine, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm pretty excited. I'm ready for you. I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. I can see you are very responsible, very punctual. I love it. I love it. I love this class pretty much. So everyone, I'm Teacher Kalev. I'm going to be with you today. Let's get started. First, we're going to practice a little bit questions with how. Yeah. Let's just start two minutes with how often. Okay. Can somebody make a question using how often? Oh. Anyone? Only one, only one. How often? Uh huh. Go ahead. Tenemos duda en el exercise one. Exercise one. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, number four. Okay. That you need to talk to Flor. Flor is the technician in charge of our class. I don't know if you have checked on the WhatsApp group. We have a technician. Her name is Flor. I need you to chat her with your cell phone, chat her and tell her the problem so she can help you to solve it, okay? Sometimes there are technical, technical problems with the platform, okay guys? So I'm sorry about that. Nothing is perfect, you know, nothing is perfect. But uh, we have technicians that can help you, okay, Anna? Chat, chat, Thank you. chat floor, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, very well. And I'm going to, I'm going to report that you have problems with that exercise. I'm going to report to administration too. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Welcome everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Once again, let's start with questions with how, for example, how often, how often do you speak in English? Aha, uh -huh. any volunteer? I often in the all the in the morning. In I often work. speak in English. No, yeah, I mean. I often speak in English in my work. Wonderful. You have to practice at work. That's great. You have that opportunity. Many schools don't speak in English, right? But you speak in English at your school. That's great. That's great. Okay. What about you guys? How often do you talk in I'm sorry, repeat. How often do you travel? No. How often do you talk? Do you walk in the morning? Okay, how often do you talk? No, walk. Caminar. Okay, walk, walk. Okay, work. how often do you walk to work in the morning, correct? Yes. Okay, can you repeat? How often do you walk to work in the morning? How often do you walk at work in the morning? Correct. Okay, good question, good question. What's your answer, Julian? Welcome, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are yeah. you? Welcome. How often? Uh, wait, 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 time? wait. The question is: the question is, how often do you walk to work? How often do you walk to work? Do you understand? Uh, no. Walk. Walk is when you walk. You don't okay. take transportation. No. Okay. Never. Usually. Never. You never. Okay, you say I never, I never walk. I never walk. 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 Uh-huh. W A L 
K and the letter L is silent. Walk. Walk. Uh huh. So you never, you say, I never walk to work. Repeat. I, I never walk to work. Correct. That's frequency, right? Let's go with a different question. What about how good? How good? How good, how good are you? Guys, questions with how good are you? How good are you at, and you say a category, for example, a sport, for example, you know, something. Bless you, bless you, miss, bless you. <laughs> how good are you? How good are you at chess? Do you know what is chess? C-H-E-S-S? -S? Nobody knows? Oh, teacher. Chess. That means ajedrez. C-H-E-S-S. -S. How, how good are you at chess? I never played. What? What did you say? I never played chess. You never play chess? Yes. Okay, but, but understand the question. How good? How good are you? Yeah? I, I, I bought. I'm sorry? Not very good. Uh -huh. Not very That's good. good. Remember, about average, pretty good. Not so how good are you at chess? No? Can no. I say can I say I so bad? I um I'm bad. You can say I'm so I'm bad. bad, yes. I'm so <laughs> bad, I'm bad, yes. Yes, you can okay. say that. Okay, okay, no problem. Me too. Me too. <laughs> not so good. In my case, not so good. <laughs> Very bad. Okay. Help me with the question. How good are you? Make a question. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How good? How good are you? The bird to be. How good are you at what? Uh, how like good? soccer, maybe? You can say, okay, at playing soccer. Yes. How good are you at playing soccer? Okay. Any volunteer? How good are you at playing soccer? Me? About average. <laughs> About average. And you? And you guys? How good, good are you at um, playing soccer? Pero no muy bueno. Not so good. Not so good. I play soccer, not so good. Repeat, Julian. I play soccer, not so good. I play soccer, not so good. Me too, me too, don't worry, don't worry, me too. <laughs> All right, how good are you? Okay, similar question. How well, how well, but with the auxiliary do. How well do you? How well do you, yes? How well do you use the computer? How well do you use the computer? Jenny? Um, excuse me, tell me again. The question is, how well do you use the computer. Um, <laughs> I, I say so, so, no, no. Not really. Remember the answers that we studied yesterday? You can say pretty, pretty well. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, pretty, okay well. pretty well. Yes, pretty well. About average. No, pretty well. Not so good, right? Those yeah. are like kind of the options. What about you, Catherine? Hi, teacher. Hi, how you doing? 
Uh, repeat, please. Yes. How well do you use the computer? Um, I know use the computer. Okay, so you say not so good. Not yes? so good. Not so good. Yes. Not so good. Yes, because the question, understand the question. The question is not, do you use the computer? Yes, I do. No, I don't. No. The question is, how well do you use the computer? If you're an expert, pretty well. Pretty well. Repeat, guys. Pretty well. Pretty well is excellent. Pretty well. Pretty well. well. About pretty well. average. About average. About average is more or less. More or less. About average. And not so good, you know? Not so good. Right? So understand the question, okay? How well do you? Can you make a question? Help me. How well do you? How well do you sing in karaoke? <laughs> How well do you sing karaoke? That's a very nice question, Jancy. How you. well do you sing karaoke? Okay, nice. Any volunteer? Not very well. <laughs> Me too. Somebody else? Not very well. Not very well. Absolutely. Somebody else? Nobody else? <laughs> Okay, 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 that's nice. How well do you, remember, we have how well do you, right? And how good are you at? Okay, with that being said, today we're going to practice simple pass. Simple pass. Today's topic is activities that we did in the weekend. Let me just share my screen with you. Let me just share my screen now. Here we go. Okay. Can you can you visualize my screen? Yes? yes. Okay. Let's check it out. Yes. Thank you. Can you listen, guys? No, teacher. I don't teacher. Listen. Not listen. Wait. Oh, there you go. Okay, sorry. That's right now. Hi to all. Welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. Hi to all. Welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will. Got all about that. Don't worry. He will. Okay. I think there is a problem with the with the video. Let me refresh this. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's try one more time. Okay, once again. Hi to all. Welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. 
Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Hi to all. Welcome to Section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conference weekend. In the past, I really need you to concentrate. you have any question guys about this conversation can we identify the verbs that are in simple past can you help me went went that's correct the simple past of go what else um, is, the, is the past sink Sing, yes, the past is sang. That's right, S A N G. Yes, thank you. What else? Had. 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 Have. Had. Right? Good job. Study. Study. Repeat. Study. Studied. 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 Repeat, study, studied, 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 studied. Okay, okay, yes. Some something else. Forgot. Forgot. That's right. Simple pass of forget. Forgot. That's right. Okay, nice, 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 nice. So what happened in this conversation? What happened? Did, um, did Rick go out during the weekend? Hello? This, a, this is a conversation between Rick and Meg, right? Did, uh, did Rick go out on this weekend? No. No what? He stay in home. Yes, he did. Okay, okay. The answer is no, he didn't. Okay. Repeat, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. This is a just no questions with did, right? Simple pass. So remember that because he stayed home. He said he stayed home, right? And studied for the Spanish test. <laughs> All right. Next question. Pay attention. Pay attention. Next question. Um, did Meg go out? Yes, she is. I'm sorry? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did, right? Did Meg go out? Yes, she did. Okay. Um, where, where did she go? Where did she go on this weekend? She went to karaoke. Correct. She went to the new place downtown, right? It was a karaoke place. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Nice job. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Let me check how are we with simple past verbs. Simple past verbs. How good are you with simple past verbs? Good, bad, pretty well. About average. About average. About average, let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I'll give you a verb in the simple present and you give me the verb in the simple past. You ready? Simple present is break. What is the simple past? Hello? Break. Break. B R A. I'm sorry. B R E A K. Break. 
Brooke. Brooke. How do you spell it? B R O K E. Brooke. Okay. Next. Forgive. What's the simple past? Go. Forgive. Come on, Gal. class. Come on, class. Let's go, Gal. class. Intermediates. Forgot. For, for what? Wait, wait. This is not forget. Forget is forgot. Yes, forget, forgot. But this is forgive, like forgive me. Forgive. Forgive. Yes? What is the simple pass? Go. Okay. Forgave. That's right, Anna. Thank you. Forgave. It's F O R G A V E. Forgave. Okay, next. Okay. Come on, class. I need everyone to participate. Come on, everyone, everyone. The simple pass of the simple pass of get G E T got got okay got G O T correct okay the verb is where W E A R where like like wear clothes wear jeans wear sandals what is the simple past Nobody? Repeat. Where? 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 It's W E A R. Or? Let me put it in the chat. War. Yes. War. Very well. Okay, guys. I'm going to send you a list of verbs in the WhatsApp chat, okay, tomorrow, so you can also have, you know, information to study verbs. It's very important for you to um, practice verbs in the simple past. The simple past is very similar to simple present because we use it very much. We use simple present, we use simple past very much. Those two tenses are very important, okay? So study okay. those verbs. Let me just close this window right here. And we're going to move on. I'm going to share my screen once again. Now, can we make questions? Let me see. Can we make questions using did? Did. Right? For example, did you go to the beach last weekend, Margarita? Did you go to the beach last weekend? Yes, teacher. Yes, I did. Correct answer? Yes, I did. Repeat? Yes, I did. Or negative is no, I didn't. Did you did you go to a different country this last weekend? No, I didn't. Very well. Very well. Did, did, did. Did subject, verb, and complement. Let's watch this video real quick. Here we go. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and Okay, look at that. Look at that. Just no question. Did you work on Saturday? Guys, the complete way to answer is yes i did it's a short answer and then you add additional information in this case yes i did i worked all day you need to add additional information pay attention to the verb 
to the action verb in the question. In this case, the verb is work, work. It's a regular verb. So the simple pass is worked. Repeat, worked. Repeat, work. Work. Worked. 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 Okay. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. Or the negative form? No, I didn't. I didn't work all day. So you need to confirm the negative sentence. Yes? I didn't work at all. Repeat. I didn't work at all. I didn't work at all. 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 Es como que no trabajé para nada, para nada, ¿verdad? At all. Okay. Next. Did you go? Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. And additional information. I went to the movies. I went to the theater. Yes, I did. I uh, went to the zoo, right? Yes, I did. I went to um, the supermarket. <laughs> okay. Or the negative. No, no, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. I stayed. I stayed home. Right. Um, now we have follow up questions. We have follow up questions. For example, what did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. So it, this is like a more information required question, right? And how did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. So we're gonna practice questions with did, okay? And information questions, okay? So if we start with did, did you? The good thing is that it's very easy because it's not like in simple present. Remember that in simple present, you use do, you use does, third person does. Here, no. You use did with all the subjects. Did I, did you, did we, did they, third person, did she, did, uh, did he, did it, right? So that's the good thing, okay? So we're going to make questions. Just no questions with did, okay? Let's just start with this basic question. Did you work on Saturday? I'm going to change it a little bit. And my question is for, let me see, for Maritza. Can you hear me, Maritza? Are you there? Hello. Okay, I have a question for you. How are you? <laughs> How are you? You're good? I'm good. <laughs> Okay, I have a question for you. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Did you work on Sunday? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh huh. I didn't. I didn't work Sunday. No, Very I good. didn't work Sunday. Very good. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't work on Sunday on Sunday. Okay, 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 okay. So what did you do on Sunday? Uh, um, I like, I like watch TV. I watch TV, actions. I watch TV. Actions that finished on Sunday, you understand? You watch TV, what else? Um, uh, I I walk in the park. You walked in the park. Okay, very good, very good, good enough. So activities in simple pass. Activities in simple pass. Next, did you go? Did you go? Okay. Let me ask a question to Miss Sheila Portillo. Can you hear me, Sheila? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, um, teacher. Oh, good night. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thank you. Okay, you ready for a question? 
Um, <laughs> let's try, let's yeah. practice. Okay. Yes, yes. Did you go to the mountains? You know the mountains? The mountains? mountains yes. Okay. Yes. Did you go to, did you do, did you, did you go to camp or did you go camping? Did you go camping to the mountains this past weekend? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, weekend camping. Wait, no, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. And then additional information. You can say something negative, like kind of repeating the same. I didn't go ah. to the mountains. Or you Going can say the, the activities that you did, right? For example, no, I didn't, teacher. I went to Las Cascadas Mall, for example. See, the activity mm -hmm. that, you do in, that you did instead, right? To provide, to provide more information. You understand? Um, yes, teacher, thank you. So, 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 so what did you do? What did you do on your weekend? Um, I, I did went to the Berlin. I went, I went. I went, I went to the Berlin Mirador in English, teacher. How, how do you say Mirador in English? You can say viewer. You viewer. can say viewer, yeah. But you can say, I went to, um, what city is it? Eh, Paradise, San Lorenzo, Berlin. Okay, Mirador. okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Okay, so you went there. That's nice. You didn't work. That's good. Okay. Did you work? Did you go? We can do many questions, you know, using different verbs. For example, did you eat? One of our favorite verbs, right? Let me ask a question to a gentleman. Let me go with, let me see, Isaac. Can you hear me, Mr. Mungia? Hello? Yes, teacher. I have a question for you. How, how are you today? I'm pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, I have a question for you. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Did you eat anything special this past weekend? Uh, yes, I do. What? Uh, yes, I did. And okay. I, I, how do you say it in simple past? How do you say Eight. Se dice como el número ocho. Eight. eight. It's a spell. Uh -huh. A-T-E. Eight. Eight. I ate to... I ate... How do you say pastel? Cake. 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 I ate cake on my sister wedding. Oh, yeah, it's true. Okay, okay, okay. So you ate cake at your sister's sister's wearing wedding. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Remember, um, eat, eight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Uh, let me ask a question to somebody else. Let me see, Loida. Can you hear me, Loida Saravia? Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, one question for you. Yes. yes. How did you spend your weekend? Well, on Saturday, I went to my friend's wedding. Oh, yeah, you too. Yes. <laughs> It's the sister of Isaac. It, it, yeah, it's Isaac's sister. So you also tasted yes. that cake. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Nice, nice. So you see, eight. Okay. So simple past verbs. 
simple past verbs. Let me ask a question to somebody else then, since it's the same event over there. Let me go with, uh, let me see. Ana Landa Verde, can you hear me? Hi, are you ready for a question? Yes. Okay. okay. Did you clean your house this past weekend? Did you clean? C L E A N. Clean. Did you clean your house this past weekend? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> what, what did you do this weekend? Um, and day Saturday and work in the morning. And I worked. Luego. ¿Cómo se llama luego? Then, 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 uh, <clears throat> as it's a uh, desfile, how is it called a desfile? A parade, a parade, and um, the park, and it's a stack, six, okay, 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 okay. Guys, simple past verbs are really important to be able to dominate and, and be able to express yourself in a negative form. In a simple past. It's not easy. It's not easy. Remember that we have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs, right? Here, we're touching irregular verbs because irregular verbs are more common, but it's important to study both, okay? So you have to complete that part. Um, but let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there. I want to practice a little more. I want to practice a little more. Did, right? Did. Okay. Did, did plus subject plus the verb, the base verb. And it's very important to listen to the verb so you can be able to answer. If you don't understand, Please say, repeat, please repeat for me. And I repeat again, right? Okay, this question is for all the class. This question is for all the class. Please answer to me, please answer to me, okay? The question is, about this past weekend, did you drive your car this past weekend? No, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Only one student? And the others? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You did it? No, I no, didn't. didn't. So so how did you how did you go around? How did you go around? Do you know what is go around? No, teacher. Go around, it's transportation. For example, you didn't drive your car, correct? You didn't drive your car. So yes. how did you go around? Repeat, how did you go around? Mm. How did it's you fast. go around? Uh, I, didn't I, go around. Took, I took a Uber. I took a taxi. I took the bus. Okay, the okay. Bus. <laughs> you used in driver. <laughs> okay, you took you took the bus. Okay, that's good. You walked. You say I walked. Could be right. What about you? Right. How did you go around? Question with how. Okay. Um. Next. What about you, teacher? Me what? Ah, uh, how did I go around this past weekend? Yes. Well, I went around on my brand new motorcycle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got nice, it. Nice. 
I got it last week. So I am yeah. like a like a little baby with a with a new toy right now. <laughs> Thank you for the question, by the way. Okay, next question. What um listen, did you buy buy B U Y? Did you buy anything important, anything special this past weekend? Class? Tell me. Um I didn't. No, I didn't buy. You no, didn't buy anything. No, I didn't buy. You swipe the, the credit card. You swipe the debit card, huh? <laughs> White. Yes. Debit card. White. I... Repeat, swipe. White. Swipe. Swipe. With the credit card, with the debit card. <laughs> so you didn't buy anything. You didn't buy anything special. Did you buy anything special, guys? Julian. So, Veda, Anna, did you buy anything special this past weekend? No, teacher, I didn't buy anything special. Okay. Okay. And the other students? Very sad. No money, no honey, huh? No money, no honey. Yes. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're nice. Okay. Let me change the question. Let's not talk about mo uh, money, okay? Um, next question. Um, did you, did you um, watch, did you watch or read anything interesting this past weekend? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Aha, class? Think about it, remember? Teacher, repeat please. Yes. Did you did you watch? I'm talking about, I don't know, a movie, mm -hmm. the news, I don't know, something, you know. And did you watch or read? Watch or read anything interesting this past weekend? Yes, um, I did. Yes, you I did. did. You did? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. did um, what did you What did you watch or read about? Watching yes, Sultan Suleiman. Okay, but but what is the verb? What verb are you using, Sheila? Watching, watching. Watched. Watch. 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 The verb is watch. In the simple past. Is watched. Watch, watch it. The verb is read. read and what is the simple read past? It. Read it. Read it. Read. read. The simple read. past is red. Like red. The color red. Read. Red. 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 Do you understand? Red. Yes. Yeah. I think we need urgently, urgently, we need to practice verbs in, in the simple past. Guys, I'm going to send you some information, but promise me that you're going to study verb and simple past. You promise me? Yes, yes sir, I, sure. promise. It's I promise. It's extremely necessary. <laughs> it's extremely necessary. And um, I know there are many questions about irregular verbs. I, I would need a, a complete class to explain you irregular verbs. It's It's... It's kind of tricky, and I know that, that we don't have so much time, you know. Um, but I'm gonna do what I can do, sending you information. Okay. Let's continue. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let me share. Let me share. Let me share. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to listen to a conversation using the simple past. Let's go ahead. Let's pay attention to the pronunciation. To the pronunciation. Please check the check the verbs. Check the verbs. Uh, well, this is an evaluation. Okay. One second, please. One second. Give me one second. Give me one second here. 
there's a mistake here. Okay. Hmm. 2.5, 2.6 is the evaluation. 2.7. Okay. Here's where we are. Okay. Remember that other way to express ourselves in simple past is also with the verb to be, right? Remember what is the, the past, the simple past of the verb to be? Do you remember? Was, where? Was, where? Was, where? Was and where. That is correct. Was is for singular. Yeah. And where is for plural. Okay. Okay. So, was. What is the negative of was? Wasn't. Wasn't. Okay. Good, good, good. And what is the negative of where? Weren't. 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 Very well. Let's check this video out. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with Pasta B if used. Hi to all. Welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. All right, you have any question about this uh, conversation, guys? Participants will have a chance to listen to us. You have any question Green. about this conversation, any vocabulary, any word? No? I have a yes, question. Teacher. Um, yes. What's the question? Waves. Where is waves? Waves. Waves, waves. Where amazing. 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 Mm -hmm. Let me see. It was cloudy. Waves. The waves. Las olas. <laughs> the waves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the in the ocean. <laughs> right? The waves were amazing, like in El Salvador, right? Like El Tunco Beach, right? A lot of surfers because of the waves. They love, a lot of tourist people, they love to go to uh, beaches here in El Salvador because the El waves Sante. are big. To El Salte Beach, yeah, it's true. It's true. Any other questions so far? Teacher, the meaning of the weather? Weather is the synonym of climate. Yeah, mm. climate, uh, but climate is not so common, el clima, okay. right? People people okay. better say uh, weather, the weather. Okay, thank Which you. means el clima, right? Uh, uh -huh. Cloudy? Cloudy comes from cloud. Cloud is nube y cloudy nublado. Uh, okay. Uh-huh, cloud. Nube, cloudy, nublado. Uh, what about what about lucky? Lucky you. What about that expression? If I tell you lucky you guys, what is that expression about? Like suertudo. Mm -hmm. Que suerte, suertudo, ¿verdad? Lucky you. <laughs> All right. So, let me see. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. Let's let's see. This conversation we're using was and where, right? Question is how was your vacation? It's different to say, um, what did you do on your vacation? It's, it's kind of similar, right? But you know, it's different ways to say it. What did you do on your last vacation or how was your last vacation? Oh, it was excellent. I went to Hawaii. Let's see, let's see the verbs in simple past. We have was, we have went. What else? 
Had. Had. Where. Where. How um, long. Have. Had. Yes, 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 where? yes. How long where? Most of the times went and was. Okay, good, 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 good. What? Happened. Hap, hap, happened. 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 E, something incredible happened. 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 Paso. Something incredible happened. Uh, okay. I'm going to give you one verb and you give an example using your simple past. Okay. Using your simple past. Attention, guys. Attention. The first verb is was. I need an affirmative example. Let me see, Isaac, can you give us an affirmative example? Was. Nope. What about Soveda? Can you give us an example using was? I was awesome weekend. Um, that would be, I had, I had an awesome weekend. Do you understand? Yes. Was has to do with ser I, o estar. I, ser o estar. Uh -huh. You can talk about, you can talk about a feeling or you can talk about a place. Um, yesterday I was very tired for my work. Fantastic. Because because of my work. Repeat. Because, because of my work. Of my work. Because because, because of my work. Of, of my work. Thank okay. you. Good job. Good job, Miss. Next verb is went. Let me go with Ana Lopez. Give us an example using went. Affirmative. Affirmative example. No? Okay, Maritza Rivera, are you there? Okay, Maite Espinosa, are you there? I went to the work. I went to work. Repeat, to work. I went to work. Repeat, I went to work. I went to work. Okay. Um, you're missing something like, I went to work yesterday. I went to work today. Yeah. I weekend. This past weekend, yes. I went to work this past weekend. Weekend. Had, had. Let me go with my Dem Espinosa. Can you hear me, my day? Hello, my day. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi. Can you give us an example using had? H A D. Okay. We had a grief. I'm sorry, can you repeat, miss? I couldn't hear you. Are you there? Hello. Uh -huh. Can you repeat, please? We had a great time. We had okay. a great time. Ah, but that is very similar to the, the one on the book, miss. Um, we had a great time. Um, we had a good day. We had a nice experience. We had a good working day today. Yeah. We had a good celebration, etc. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Went, where was, where, where? Okay. Let me use where. W-E-R-E. -E. Let me go with Julian. 
Give us an example using where. The ways were amazing. The ways were amazing. Ah, but that's on the book. I need you to give me one example. Personal example, sir. Yeah? Mm. Where? For example, my friends and I were playing soccer at the beach. Yeah? Remember that it's plural. Where is for plural? Is for you, for we, or for they? Can I say you were busy all weekend? You were busy all weekend. Yes, they were busy. Yes, that's true. That's true. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's you go over afraid. negative examples. What is the negative form of did? Didn't. 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 D I D N apostrophe T. And the verb next to didn't. What is it? The verb next to didn't. Is base verb? Is simple past? Is the base verb? Yes. Remember the rule. The verb next to didn't is base verb. Okay. Give me examples. Give me examples. The verb is went. I need a negative example. Do I have a volunteer? Mm. I didn't go to the beach next weekend. Jancy? Sí. Guys, one applause for Jancy. Nice job. Yes, that's true. I didn't go. The verb comes to base, right? I didn't go. Congratulations. Next one. The verb is was. Can somebody say a negative example? Negative example. Remember, this is simple past. I wasn't um, in the family's home uh, on Saturday. I wasn't on my family's home on Saturday. Yes. Okay. I wasn't on my family's home last Saturday. I wasn't happy yesterday. Yes. I wasn't happy yesterday so on and so forth guys it's important to practice affirmative and negative okay next verb next verb is let me see go okay go we already use go the verb is had h-a-d once again can somebody say one example in negative using had Remember that have is related to also eat. It's very similar to it. You can use it that way too. For example, I didn't have, I didn't have pupusas for dinner last night. I didn't have, I didn't have any time for my family this last weekend. I didn't have, I didn't have enough money this past weekend. <laughs> Okay, guys, so you have a commitment. Remember, we're going to practice the verbs in simple past, okay? And tomorrow, we're going to try a little more exercises with the simple past. I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult, but it can be done. It can be done. Don't worry, okay? Okay. One applause for you. Yeah, you have any question? You have any question? No, teacher. No questions. Okay, guys. Good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Be safe. Bye. Take it Bye, easy. Teacher. Good night. Stay safe.
You do. Be healthy. Watch out. 